We're learning how to weatherproof your wardrobe with wardrobe editor and style strategist, Megan Jedlinski. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I think people are going to go, wait a second, weatherproof our wardrobe. But it's true when it hasn't happened yet this year. This but proof. you're walking around in the salt and the snow and all of this stuff, and it does kind of wreak havoc on your clothing. Yeah, and it's, you want your clothes to last throughout the season. For me personally, I've reduced my wardrobe by about 80%. So I'm really limited to the number of pieces that I have. So I want them to last, and I want them to last beyond just this season too. Right, well, you say this season. I mean, I keep things for decades. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy they still fit sometimes, yeah. but you know, you, you get nice things and you keep them. Um, so let's talk about our shoes, because they're the ones that I think take the most yes. wear and tear. These take the worst beating in Chicago winters. So the first step is you're going to want to make sure that they're clean and completely dry. And then for leather boots, you're going to take a neutral conditioner, mm -hmm. and you're going to wipe this all over the boot, and this is going to condition and just polish the boot. What's great about the neutral is it can work on any color leather, which is great. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so it's not like if you get the, the like for men's shoes, it's the yeah, black or the brown. Yeah, you don't have to worry about any staining at all. And then for suede boots, you're going to take a soft bristle brush. You can also use a clean toothbrush if you have that hanging around the house. Sure. And you're just going to lightly lift the fibers of the shoe. And this is going to bring the suede back to life and add a nice softness to it as now, well. Now, if that had the salt ring on it, like the suede shoes so often mm -hmm. do, is the brush going to be enough to get rid of it? You could try it with the brush first, get what you can off, and then the rest, use a little bit of vinegar and dab that off. Oh, okay, vinegar. Who but knows? no water. You just definitely don't want to make uh, make right, sure you don't that'll stain water. it. Correct. Right. If you, okay. And then your last step is to use a um, protectant spray, and this one happens to be good for both uh, leather and suede. Oh, that's handy. Not all of them are like that, though. So you want to make sure that you read the label properly. And what's that sure. one called? Just so people know. This is the uh, Jason Mark Repel. And you're just going to spray this all over your boots, let it sit for about a day to completely dry, and you're good to go. Okay, do that at the beginning of the season, or do you have to reapply? Um, I would do it at the beginning of the season, and then you, you'll you be good for, and I, you know, again, for the next season, you can do it again. You're good to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the sweaters we talked about, because we do keep those through the years, but they yes. get those little oh pills my on gosh. them. The little, I hate those. Sometimes <laughs> even after just a handful of wears. So you don't need to retire your sweater just yet. There's a really simple solution, and I love the sweater stone. You can get this off of Amazon or the Container Store. The sweater stone. The sweater stone, <laughs> yes. And what's great about this is it's really easy to use. Um, you're just going to hold the sweater tight and then just gently tug if you want to give it a try. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and you can see yeah, all the you'll stuff see that the it's taking just off. just coming right off. And oh, what's great that. about this, as opposed to an electronic shaver, is it doesn't harm the integrity of it. look at all the stuff it just took right? off it of just, there. Look at that. So slick. Perfect. And it looks great afterwards. Yes. Nice. So you're just going to do that over the sweater and it's good as new. Okay, so winter hats, gloves, and scarves, right. I'm sure we're all guilty of not washing them. Well, the tendency is you come in and wherever you put your coat, you shove the hats yeah. and the scarves into a drawer in the mudroom, wherever. <laughs> and then you pick them up and you go, oh my, they're, they could walk yeah. on their own. And these are just a feeding ground for germs. So you're going to want to make sure to hand wash these about every two to three weeks. I love this eco-friendly wool and cashmere shampoo. It's by The Laundress. You mix this with some cold water and you go ahead and you just wash up the um, you know, hats, gloves, or scarves there. Because so many of these are, are made of like the, uh, the wool and cashmere and they'll shrink up if you yes. put them in the washing machine. And then you're just going to lay it flat to dry so it doesn't lose its shape. Okay. And then if you don't have time for that, you can also use The Laundress Makes This Wool and Cashmere Spray. What's great about this is that it's antibacterial, so it addresses those germs. Nice. And then it also smells really nice, too. So. It's kind of like dry shampoo yeah, for the hat. Exactly. <laughs> Just a little exactly. spray and you're good to go. Okay, our <laughs> jeans are getting salt all over them. Not yet, because it's been so fabulously warm, but they will. Yes. Now, what do we do about that? So, salt stains, unfortunately, in Chicago, they're almost guaranteed. So what you can do is you, or you're gonna, your best bet is going to want to let it dry completely. Uh -huh. And then you're going to take a bristle brush, same one that you use for the suede boots, and you're going to lightly brush off the salt. Okay? And then once you get the majority of that off, you're going to take one part vinegar and one part warm water. Oh, again, the vinegar, all right. Vinegar, it's coming back. And you're going to dab a towel in there, and then you're just going to wipe. And that cuts through the salt. And that then. cuts through the salt. And then you're going to go ahead and put these into the laundry just to take care of that smell. And right. Because truly, if you just put water on them, the, the line comes back, the salt line. Correct. And, you know, you can do this as, you know, dab and repeat as many times as you need to. These are some great yeah. tips. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I'm this so they're terrific. Helpful. If you want more style help, you can visit MeganJedlinski.com. And we'll, of course, have a link on our webpage as well at WGNTV.com slash midday. Thank you. This is really Thank terrific. Thank you. Yeah.